Hello there, Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hello, everyone. Hope you are doing well. Back with another installment <laughs> of your love saga, episode 111. Uh, this is a channel for Virgos only, so welcome. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. For those of you who are new, hello. Please do hit the like, share, and subscribe. And for those of you who are returning, hi. Hey. What's up? <laughs> All right, you guys. So personal readings, there's a link in the description box below. Click that link. That will take you to every every uh my booking site all the possible ways you can get a hold of me if you want to make any purchases from my etsy store um new stuff will be coming up so all right virgo hi everybody in the chat let's see how you guys are doing what is your love message here virgo for the rest of october going into november virgo sun moon rising venus Okay, there goes sun, moon, rising, Venus. Okay, Gemini energy, the magician. Okay, two major arcana, justice, Libra, queen of cups, page of cups, page of wands. Okay, Piscean energy here, Cancer and Scorpio. You have the hangman. Ooh. Knight of Wands, Two of Cups. Wow. Virgo, OMG. Your cards, I can already tell you, so far, this looks amazing. The bottom of the deck, you've got the Nine of Pentacles. So some of you are just like, mm, singles a Pringle, doing just fine. You're looking good, Virgo. You are working hard. You are taking good care of yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, physically. I feel like even if you're not exactly at that place yet, you're working on that during this time. This next few weeks going forward, I feel like you're going to be feeling very confident and strong. This is your card, Virgo, male or female. So this is all about your financial gains and your solo pleasures. I feel like very independent energy, <clears throat> nines, can represent wishes coming true, completions, accomplishments. Okay. Oh, I think you've been really taking this time in your life, really getting honest with yourself here, looking to expand things in your world or be in a better position. I feel like you really contemplated um, perhaps in the past or recently, what's most important to you, what you need to do, especially in the, the realm of like your bank accounts and your finances. Um, you really are, uh, I feel like a lot of you are just kind of like you took a step back and you, and you were just contemplating like, you know, well, what do I really want? What do I really need? And I feel like a lot of you were looking at long-term security. A lot of you just really leveled yourselves up and you will be feeling I feel like maybe even like nine days from now, just having that sense of, wow, I'm doing really well. And you've got somebody here who's watching you and they're watching you do well, okay? In all areas of your life. Um, very curious about you, this page of swords energy. Um, someone who might be spying on you, um, seeking the truth of what's going on with you. Um, hmm. Somebody's like, just just trying to pry, like prying on you, see what you're doing. So you're looking really good, Virgo. <laughs> you're looking really good. Now let's take a look and see what the energy is here um, with someone that you might be connecting with or if there is someone new. If there isn't someone new, we'll go over to the singles, but... We'll go into the reading and see. What are your love messages here, Virgo? <clears throat> Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Okay. Oh, honeymoon, honeymoon, honeymoon. <laughs> Some of you. <laughs> it's rain and honeymoon. So enjoy the blissful holiday time together. I feel like there's going to be some type of romantic time with someone during the holidays coming up. Religious factors, love life is influenced by religious spiritual upbringing and path. 
Okay, so there might be some differences between you and your person. It could be spiritual beliefs, just obstacles. Um, oh, 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 oh. Releasing the ex. I feel like somebody is letting go of a past person or their ex or whomever they may have been connecting with or dealing with. Oh, and then they just said, show Virgo this, calling in the soulmate. So some of you are getting a phone call that someone that you may have been connecting with is done with that past relationship. They're moving on from it, letting it go. Okay. All right. So as far as court cards go, you may be connecting with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, but they're coming across in this Queen of Cups energy. Okay, which means they're a bit more in the yin passive energy. This is someone who would be deemed as quite nurturing, like a supportive person, very healing energy. Um, someone who's very tolerant, uh, has a lot of empathy, is able to put themselves in another person's shoes. Now, I know some of you are like, that's not my ex. <laughs> and that's okay. Um, it could be somebody new. And I'm just going to put that out there. So for some, it could be somebody new coming in who's kind of been looking at you or watching you to see what you're doing or like how you're living your life or what's going on. Now, I'm uh, so I'm going to touch on the singles real quick. Okay. And then I'm just going to move on from that. So this new person, um, they may be someone <clears throat> who they're going through a divorce or they just got divorced or they just ended a legal, some type of legal partnership with someone whom uh, maybe they were business partners, maybe they were, um, for some, I'm hearing romantic at slash business partners, okay? And I feel like they're very focused on you at this time. They're very interested. You might meet this person um, I feel for some of you, they may be a performer, but you may meet this person. Uh, it feels like for some, okay, they just said no. Okay, yes. For some, it's a performer. Either could be a singer. They could be um, like a rapper, uh, music, theater, whichever. Um, and for others, I'm hearing they could be like they work in the legal system or in the law with the law okay i just heard that oh yeah yeah big time lawyer standing in front of a jury okay um and it could be a libra or a gemini so i just needed to put that out there i just felt really strong you might meet this person and there's like some type of get together around the holidays okay is it a honeymoon it will feel like a honeymoon <laughs> okay so there's your singles sometime around the holidays okay so be prepared Virgo be prepared so what's going on here uh, with this person you might be connecting with so magician energy this person's coming in they're very focused on you Virgo very very focused on you uh, trying to manifest you back perhaps okay yeah trying to turn the sun card around this is Leo energy Trying to turn this sun energy around. I mean, the sun in reverse is a very positive card nonetheless, but it's kind of like, for me, it feels like pre-dawn, okay? It's kind of like when you first get up in the morning and the sun is not at its peak level during the day. And I feel like this person is really trying to, it's almost as if they're trying to, <laughs> Their intention, their manifestation intentions here with you are to try to bring light back into the situation, back into the relationship with you, right? So, hmm. now hold on a minute. Oh, I just realized I forgot my music. Um, so there's a bit of a delay here with this person. I feel like they're waiting for the right time to turn things around here with you. And 
Hold on. I'm hearing the 20th of, uh, wait, isn't that soon? October 20th. This person's trying, they want to do the right thing. They want to do right by you. There's no doubt, okay? Yep, see, they want to come in and investment. I know you've heard all this before. I feel like this person is going to make a move to invest when the time is right. For some reason, the timing is not right at this. This is just kind of how I'm feeling. I feel like they're reflecting on perhaps a past connection. Perhaps maybe you guys were, some of you might have been married. Maybe there was like a honeymoon. This person thinking about those days or those times in the past. The times when you were together or you enjoyed time together. This person has a little bit of depression as well, or sadness, with the sun reversed. Hmm. Te it's temporary, though. It's temporary. There's a waiting energy. They can't do anything right now. Okay. This person cannot make a move, or they just it feels like they can't do it. They can't do something right now. Let me see what's holding them back. I mean, it definitely feels like timing. I feel like they're trying to come out of um, like some temporary, maybe, maybe there's like a mood cycle or something. Let's take a look. Okay. <laughs> so I'm hearing it's it's not quite the time yet for to commit. Uh, they're ready though. They're choosing you. Seven of cups reversed. That's 100%. This person has like the clarity. They get the clarity. Their fantasies, illusions are coming out of that. That's what, that's really what I feel like that is because this is delayed gratification. And this person is like coming out of whatever was like, whatever their thought process was or their, their, crazy ideas about their about your relationship it feels like i feel like this person maybe had a lot of fantasies and they like spent more time fantasizing about you than trying to or stay in fantasy land with you and not committing to anything it was just all dreams or just they couldn't see themselves being with you for some reason i think because they were up too much in fantasy world in their head and virgo i mean <laughs> It's not really that hard to fantasize about you. I mean, you're pretty hot and sexy. So I kind of feel like this person, they still feel that way about you, but there's something different about you that they're seeing. It feels like this person is like actually beginning to see you for who you are, what you bring to the table, how you, what you offer, what you can give, what you've offered in the past. I mean, as soon as the opportunity presents itself, I'm telling you, you're going to be getting a phone call or some text message or some type of email or communication from this person coming in with this Ace of Pentacles, this, this offer, this, hey, I'm ready to invest. And like, it, it, it comes in as like a potential. I don't know, like some of you, this person was with someone else and you were connecting with them as well. But you might have been, for some, not all of you, but you might have been kind of like a fantasy to help alleviate the stresses of a relationship they were in or the stresses of like life. I, it almost sounds like mistress boy toy kind of stuff, but you know, I, I, that could be, that's a message for somebody. That's all I'm trying to say. And you, you, Kind of like, I don't know, I feel like this person's seeing the real you now. They're like seeing you. Like in a different light. The sun's beginning to come up. <laughs> and they're making it happen. So this queen of cups here. Yeah, and then the page of wands. All this page energy is definitely about some kind of communication from them. This person, Virgo, is like completely smitten with you. This person has such like a crush. Like you, even though they're seeing you for who you are, this person, like your bliss, your total bliss to them. 
even though they're beginning to see you like kind of away from that, like, okay, well, Virgo's total bliss, Virgo's fantasy, Virgo's sexy, Virgo's hot, Virgo's got all this great, like super, super attracted to you and they fantasize about you, but it feels to me like this person, oh, they, <laughs> I mean, they definitely want to be with you. They definitely want to connect with you and really come in with something like so amazing, like a real true investment offer. They want to get together with you during the holidays. And I feel like they're going to bring that to the table. They're going to communicate with you about that, about seeing you. For some, you know, the communication, like I was picking up October 20, which I know is right around the corner, but if you don't get it by then, don't worry about it. There's definitely communication coming in. And I feel like there will be uh, movement during the holiday season. So right after the 31st, and so going into November and December up until January, you guys are gonna be together. There's going to be spending time together. Look at this, the page of cups here from this person. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> for some of you this is new love definitely but oh, this is someone who's just i feel like they're gonna tell you that they love you oh they're just that passion card here with the page of cups there's gonna be a lot of that going back and forth but this i feel like you're gonna get communication from them telling you um like sweet sweet nothings or sweet little things to you you know those sweet little texts but it also feels like something along the lines of like you are so sexy you are so gorgeous you are just <laughs> like i mean i feel like this person is stuck on you yes this person is whether it's new or old they are stuck you've got love coming around the holidays let's take a look at this page Oh yeah, I remember I, I don't know if I said that, but I was feeling like I miss you. You might get that text. Look, if you know this person, um, they are really, uh, it feels to me like there's an energy of being um, regretful. They feel lost. So maybe if you were connected with them before, um, there's a sense of loss. This person, yeah, your person Virgo is letting go of somebody else for you because you are so incredible because <laughs> you are just so amazing. I mean, I feel if you don't know them, you know, this person is absolutely letting go of an ex or coming out of some type of a relationship, but they do, they want love so much and they want to be getting to know you. Um, they are coming in with a little bit of a broken heart. Maybe they, it may not be that there was a breakup. They could have lost somebody due to passing away. Maybe they're an, a widow. Um, they may come through like that to you, or maybe you know that this person is a widow or something their person has passed on, um, or their person has left them and they feel like abandoned. Okay, um, so there may be some like very heartfelt communication coming through with from them, but with the Page of Wands energy here, they may tell you that they had them and their person had um, a lot of differences. They couldn't align. They couldn't get on the same page. They had different beliefs, maybe different cultural cultures, different geographical situation, economical upbringing, They're, that they and their person just didn't align. I feel like they're sad about that, but they've let them go or they're letting them go. Let's take a look. Page of Wands energy. <clears throat> okay, wow, Five of Wands. Hmm, Virgo, you, you, the way you look, I feel like this person, the way you look and the way you're coming across right now, like you're doing you, but I feel like this person feels like you, there might be a lot of competition to be with you, to have you, whether there is or not, it, it, you just stand out. You just really stand out. 
to this person. I feel like they just look at you and they just think, oh my gosh, Virgo will never either take me back or be with me because Virgo's got it going on. <laughs> Isn't that a song? They just said Virgo's got it going on. So a lot of competition here, this person coming in, um, they have a willingness here to fight. They may tell you that they were trying, that they they did fight for a past relationship. If this is someone you don't know, and they may tell you that it was just too difficult. There was always drama because that five of wands can be a card about drama, but there was a lot of, um, a lack of alignment, um, uncertainty. This person freed themselves and they're, and, and they're freeing themselves from someone in the past. Definitely making change and coming towards you. There's going to be communication about this. Let's see. There also may be, yeah, I just heard um, any messages or talk. Um, it's going to be talk about doing something together, about taking action together, about movement. Um, Page of Wands energy, like it feels like like a kid who comes out of school, goes home, plops the books down on the table, gets changed, and then runs out the door to go play. It's very like enthusiastic energy about you. It's how I feel like this person's gonna run into your arms. <laughs> okay, Four of Pentacles in the reverse with the hangman. So there is a new perspective happening here from this person's uh, viewpoint. I actually feel like something about your connection, like you and this person find alignment. You and this person actually have a lot of things in common, which you will both find out. Okay. Um, I mean, it feels to me like also... as a past situation, it feels like they just said, this person opens up to see something your way, to see it your way. Could be like, maybe you had different belief systems or something. They open up to, uh, cause they may have held tight to something or held tight to certain restrictions or beliefs, you know, belief systems and things like that. So it kind of feels like they're like they're good, they're opening up with this hangman energy. Like I, I, I have a totally different view. Maybe because of communication, you guys have they begin to see things in a different light, you know, um, or see, or it's just they realize that you guys have so much in common. Or so much more in common than they believed in the past okay um virgo listen you know when i give my readings like i keep it real here and i'll tell you if someone's being a jerk you know and i'll tell you if you need to you know if the messages are coming up and i'll tell you if you need to stand up for yourself you know how i do things in my readings but i really feel like whether this is somebody new or someone from the past, I mean, your cards were so good to, like from the beginning. If you were connecting with someone who had an ex or had somebody else um, or went, went over to an ex or somebody else, I don't know so much. I think the only influence you're really having on this person is that you got yourself into... Um, Take self care, taking care of yourself. You just, I feel some of you left this connection and just said, you know, I can do, I can do drama on my own. I don't need anybody else. I can get, I can take care of self. You know, a lot of you, and I'll just put this out there, you know, this Nine of Pentacles reversed energy, I feel like a lot of you might have been having setbacks in your relationships could have been due to um, insecurity. Um, maybe you were smothering. Um, some of you could have just been, maybe it was envy, financial um, dependence on others. Uh, now, this is not for all of you. So please, you know, take it as it resonates. And you don't have to admit it. It's just, 
I know it's kind of a deep dive. There might have been some jealousy involved. And I feel like the relationships or relationship that you were in in the past had a really hard effect on your career and your ability to be stable and, you know, independent. You might have been dealing or in a relationship that was just chaotic or making things very difficult for you. A lot of you got out of it um, and it had a profound positive effect on your career, your financial stability, and your ability to be independent. And I feel like you, some of you were connecting with someone in the past who maybe encouraged that, but yet at the same time, when you finally took steps to take care of yourself, now they're seeing you differently, okay? Because so, this person may not have wanted to be in a committed relationship because you were kind of a fantasy for them, but you may have wanted that. And then you just kind of, t the tables turned a little bit here or something, and you just decided, no, I'm just going to do me. And now they're seeing you differently. <laughs> so here they come. Oh, this person is coming. <laughs> and you take that however you like. With that Knight of Wands energy, feisty, passion, lusty. Okay? This person is hot for you. Completely hot for you. You two are going to be meeting up, definitely. There's going to be a coming together here at the Two of Cups, no doubt in my mind. I mean, if I haven't said that before, man, I'm seeing it now. Because there's a letting go of some past energy on both sides. But mostly since we're looking at this person, okay? Um, if it's a new person, like I said, they're letting go of someone they were with. And they're ready for something new. And you are just really drawing them in or will be coming forward or this is someone from your past someone that you might have released and now they they want to be with you so let me take a look at the knight of wands okay king of wands energy so for some of you it's a king of wands for the males it's a water sign um and for the for the females it's a fire sign aries leo sagittarius new for the new okay for those of you who's your past person it's just your past person who's coming through in this energy um could be water could be fire but it could really be any sign all right let's see oh yeah healing a broken heart this is the purpose of this relationship okay two of you coming together you see that caduceus that's a healing energy with the Two of Cups. There was some t this, two people coming in with broken hearts. I just heard, how can you heal a broken heart? Isn't that the Bee Gees? It's like a really old song. Um, two people coming in after maybe a third party situation or an argument that occurred in the past, coming in and um, apologizing to each other. Um, there could have been a separation. Maybe there was like disinterest of some sort that happened in the past. Um, there's a lot of healing coming in here. Apolog it just feels like apologetic energy. Could even be a proposal. There's definitely romantic love. There's romantic... Um, a romantic connection happening here around the holidays. It's not just going to be sitting down to talk about the relationship. I mean, it's because this person is like, I don't know. It just feels like they're really feeling this strong love for you, like this deep attraction, strong love. So again, we've got Leo energy here. So I don't know if you're connecting with a Leo, but strength card is here. It's taking a lot for this person um, if they were involved with somebody else or had to let go of a past relationship. Taking a lot of strength and courage for this person to let go of some past energy and clear things, okay? And a lot of strength and courage to 
clear things and come to be with you. I mean, it's the passion is there, but a lot of strength and energy, I feel like, to try to mend this connection. I know some of you are like, this person's going to come in and they just want to have, you know, fun, intimate moments with me. I feel like it's deeper than that. I feel like the way you are looking at this time, they're telling me what you, I don't know what you've been doing with yourself. Some of you have been really working on your physique, new haircuts, you know, it's, it's every, it's all visual. It feels like all these, it's, it feels like visual how you're presenting or how you've been showing yourself. I told you this person's been prying and watching you. Some of you have just like, okay, let me put on a show here. Some of you might have been doing that, like on social media um, or in whichever way you're doing that. This person, it feels for some of you, is being reattracted to you again, but they're seeing this difference in you now. Maybe because you're not interested. Oh, look, see, King of Pentacles. Okay, for others, this could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. You know, but I feel like mostly this is you. A lot of you, you just, I don't know, you got your courage back. You got your strength back, back to do something here. This is also self-love. Totally loving yourself unconditionally. You're in like this self-respect mode. <laughs> the eight. The strength card is an eight card. This is about power, authority, control, and materialism. So some of you, look, some of you are like, look at my new car. Look at my new home. Look how good I look. Look what I'm doing. You know, all that stuff going on here with you. You know, you're, you're back standing in your power, and that is so attractive, like your self-confidence. If you don't have that right now, You'll get it. Don't worry, it's coming. Keep working on yourself. Because I feel like that's... I feel like you have like the pick of the litter here. <laughs> Virgo, you have the pick of the litter. New and, you know, someone from your past. Um, all right, let's get some... Oh, you know what I want to do here? I want to pull from my Moon Pie Tarot deck. I can't believe I forgot my music. I was really looking forward to having my music. All right, what messages? Okay. Oh my goodness. Negative thinking. Regret. Remember what I said? Okay. I feel like somebody here. Somebody here regrets that they didn't think that things could be better or go somewhere with you because they were only looking at you perhaps as like a provider of sexual fulfillment or fantasy kind of thing. They weren't seeing you as, I just feel like there was like an obsessiveness here with you like when they looked at you like I don't know some of you just oh wait I just heard Bon Jovi's song but I, I get the words mixed up I was gonna say oh she's a little fantasy or he's a little fantasy but it's runaway maybe some of you ran away and that made you and that's making you look even more alluring okay yeah victory Recognition and applause. This person is like seeing you. Are are you guys like out in the public? Are you doing something where you're making yourself seen out in public? Like really showing yourself off, not in a vain way, but because you're doing the self-love thing, it shows, it's showing this person is seeing it somehow, some way. Okay, there's a financial decision here being made. That's you. Some of you are you have big financial decision that you're going to be making soon in regards to some material project or something could just be, you know, purchasing a new car. Some of you might be buying a new home or you're looking, you're looking at um, like a big financial project or decision or a big purchase for some of you. You could be making that at this time or you you need to be. 
could be for a career or work, starting your own business. I mean, I feel like a lot of you are really in this. I mean, I love it. <laughs> I don't feel like you're not open to love. I just kind of feel like you're in boss mode and you're just looking good. Not only looking good, but looking good to somebody here. Okay, moving to a safe place. Yeah, I kind of felt that. Some of you are like relocating or moving somewhere. <clears throat> Maybe you are moving to a gated community. Um, are you moving away from someone and getting into a much better place? You're going to meet someone new maybe very soon or into the holidays. Um, where you are going to, it feels like it's going to be, if you're moving, it feels like it's going to be very safe. You will feel protected. And it'll be like a springboard for your new start or your new life for some. It could be halfway across the world. Uh, some of you are moving home to get yourselves in like a better financial um, situation. Okay, so you can up your money or make your situation better financially. That might be the decision. You know, if home is a safe place, wherever is a safe place for you. Or you might be moving out of a, a relationship or a marriage, going into a... Um, like a safe place could be more emotionally safe, mentally, physically safe. Okay, you have a highly logical male card here. So some of you males, this is you. You're being very logical at this time with your choices and decisions and your life in general. This comes through as very king of swordy energy. So someone who's very bold and powerful, courage, I'm sorry, yeah, and very intentional, like strategic with decisions that you're making at this time. Okay, self-sufficient and being very honest with yourself. And for others, this might be someone that you're connecting with coming up or it's someone from your past who I feel could be for some air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Right? And so for those of you who are connecting with the male, it could be... Um, anybody it doesn't have to be romantic it could just be someone who's showing up in your life to give you good advice or give you good direction and for some i was just hearing it could be a lawyer <laughs> helping you with something here all right ladies girls night out this might be something you can <laughs> listen if you're making plans for girls night out and that could be anything going anywhere doing anything um uh take go do it go out with some of your you know your friends and for the guys you might meet someone if you're out and you see a bunch of females and if you're you know if, if you're into females you might see them meet somebody in there um i don't know, I don't know. some of you men might need a girl's night out who the hell knows do what you gotta do all right let's take a look oh i just saw right immediately they gave me twin flame do you want that i don't know some of you are like yes some of you like forget it this is a divine counterpart connection <laughs> let's see what else comes up here for you you're just looking so good so tempting so attractive virgo and i feel like this person they just keep watching you they can't get their eyes off of you can't take my eyes off of you. You're just too good to be true. Oh, na, 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 na. I want to love you so much. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes, Virgo. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, my gosh. You have true love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Some of you are just like, that. that's me. I'm true loving myself right now. Some of you are like, just totally loving yourselves. <laughs> but for others, this is your person. This is your person. Trust. It's safe to trust in this situation. Okay. Safety, that's twice now, the word safe. Some of you could be moving to a safe place. Um 
could have a lot to do with getting back into a trusting relationship okay some of you are just seeking that that is like first and foremost on your agenda um, you really aren't following anything else but having a safe relationship okay so for those of you who are meeting someone new i feel like that is your that's your intention at this time and it feels like spirit is telling you with somebody new here that it is safe to trust in this situation and i feel like with a past person um i feel like you can trust the apology that they come in with here but i don't know that spirit's really giving you the message to tell you it's safe you have to figure that out do you know what i mean you have to be able to like because you got to go by your vibe because i could tell you yes and your vibe with someone could be like no i'm not ready to trust this yet you have to listen to your intuition okay and no matter what no matter what balance one person is giving too much in this relationship so if this was a past thing some of you like i said you were probably over giving and maybe too dependent or and maybe you felt like you had cause or reason to be that way with this person if they were you know disappearing or not communicating with you it could have triggered a lot of things in you um which is not really uncommon i mean it's just people that play together this is how things happen um, but i'm seeing balance coming here in the picture and and now it's like kind of becoming more neutral evening out between the two of you the message here and the advice is stop over giving people need to come and meet you halfway okay um don't bend over backwards to please people or please this person. They have to come in and be willing to contribute and invest. And if they're not, um, then they begin to pull away. Then somebody, you might have a tendency to overgive to try to bring them back in. But the more you ever give, the more they pull away. Okay, so get back into balance here. Some of you already have. Okay, but in all areas of your life, just get back into balance. I just saw somebody on a surfboard. Now listen, I don't surf. I don't live anywhere where, I mean, they have surfboarders out of here, but there really is no good waves for surfing. You know, I'm up here in the Northeast of the US. So, um, but I just see someone on a surfboard balancing, rocking back and forth, balancing they're uh in the water which feels like balancing their emotions okay maybe you maybe you're a surfer or someone you connect with is a surfer past or present or future i'm gonna get one more boundaries there you go firm boundaries need to be had right now i don't know who exactly who that's for but i feel like that's a very strong message one more please Okay, passion. Try something you've never done before. <laughs> well, Virgo, I can just tell you, no matter what, this connection, there's so much passion coming from this person. They are extremely passionate about you. Very lusty, very attracted to you. They very much want to be with you. I'm so excited for some of you. Who is this person coming in? I mean, listen, you could hear about this past person. Yeah, I don't feel like you're, I don't feel like a lot of you, there might be some of you who are trying to bring this past person in energetically, but I feel like the majority of you are really not trying. You're really just trying to be happy within yourselves and you are attracting not only someone from your past, but also somebody new. And I know that it's still like the middle of October here, but I'm picking up real strong energy about the holidays, holiday time, whatever the holidays are for you, whenever holidays are celebrated for you. And it, but no matter what, it feels like the energy of like November, December, going into um, the beginning of January. All right, Moonology card, meditate and contemplate. Okay. 
If you have a moon in Pisces, this is specifically for you. You need to be doing this a lot more. Meditating and contemplating. Okay, some of you have been doing that. You've been doing a lot of prayers, contemplating things, trying to figure out like, you know, what's the, the best path for you? What do you need to do? Some of you have been really like um, very patient, working hard. You've been waiting for your money to grow. Um, you've been consistent, putting energy in, like in a lot of areas of your life and just kind of looking at, at things and contemplating what do you need to do next. Okay. So if you have a moon in Pisces specifically, that's a message for you to think before you do something, meditate on it. Okay. Moon in Taurus. So if you have a moon in Taurus, prosperity lies ahead for you specifically. Okay. Specifically. And you can leave a comment or a chat where your moon is. Okay. Full moon in Aquarius. You need to show the real world you. You need to show the world the real you. Excuse me. You need to start showing yourself. Show the world the real you. Do not be ashamed or fear of being judged. If you want to go around town eating turquoise popsicles for lunch, dinner, and breakfast, you do you. You do whatever works for you. Okay, and Moon and Capricorn, the end of a tough, tough cycle is approaching. Okay, so whatever struggles you guys have had, you can take these messages no matter what. No matter what the Moon sign is for you, but I'm specifically also addressing these Moon signs. If you have a Moon in Capricorn, whatever you've been going through, whatever has been difficult, it's coming to an end. Absolutely coming to an end. All right, let's get your advice and then we'll pull your, pull your, why well, I can't talk, pull your charms. Hey guys, how you doing? Okay. Oh, look, King of Swords is back. I told you, highly logical male, intelligent, impartial, respected, and stoic. All right, you may be getting some advice from someone. Wise advice, make sure you're open to hearing it and receiving it. Make sure that you remain objective and fair-minded about this, okay? It may not be something you wanna hear. For some of you, it may be something you wanna hear, but I feel like it's wise advice. It's in your best interest. You obviously don't have to take it if you don't want, but it feels like what's coming in here is for you to be open-minded about what you hear um, and don't react. Think it through first. Some of you might be doing something with public speaking, so your advice here is to focus on that more it could be connected to your career or if you're an activist or standing up or having to do something you're also being advised to communicate communicate clearly if you're involved in relationships with people who are emotionally unavailable you need to communicate clearly that message to them that either this is not going to work or i'm not interested in people who are emotionally unavailable um, or relationships that don't have a, any depth of emotion. It doesn't make those people bad. It's just your preference. If you, that's something you need to hear someone tell you that they love you, you need to hear them tell you how they feel about you um, or express their love to you, then you need to be open and communicative with either a past person or someone new, okay? Um, okay, you've got justice here. <laughs> I keep, a lot of you, I'm telling you, there's like a lawyer coming in or some type of performer, but it mostly feels like, you know, someone who works in the legal system, justice system. It's crazy. That's Libra and energy. I was saying that in the very beginning. Um, again, it's like the same message. 
be impartial and objective to whatever's coming to you. I don't know if this has to do with an emotional relationship. Some of you might have some court stuff going on or proceedings here, and this might be pertaining to you. Um, it says to stand up for what you believe. And I feel like Spirit's giving you this message because it's very important. But you're asked to see all sides of a particular situation. If there's a lover coming in here from the past, be objective. You could listen to an apology or what they have to say, but stay in integrity because then you will be the winner in the situation. If you're true and honest, putting up boundaries and being in the energy of self-love and doing what's best for you, right? Not over-giving or over-chasing. Look, King of Pentacles is back again. You know, you keep showing up in your readings all the time. I don't know what you're doing here, but um, this feels to me like there's great success coming to you in love, in your career, in your health, with your finances, okay? Prosperity, prosperity, prosperity. Everything, Virgo, is going to turn out beautifully. Stay positive, okay? Stay very positive because you got someone here, Virgo, who is, they are watching your every move, you are their true love. This person is so incredibly attracted to you. They want to be physical with you. They want to taste you, touch you, hug you, feel you, kiss you, everything. <laughs> it feels a little obsessive, and I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not, but let's get your charms, see what your messages are. Okay. Oh, okay. Instantly, you are this person's unicorn. There's no one else like you. They've never met anybody else like you. You are, I don't ever use that saying, but I've heard that used once. I've even had somebody tell me that once. They're like, you're like a unicorn. And that's kind of what I'm picking up here. Either this person in the past told you that you are their unicorn, or you told them that, or they this new person will come in and tell you that there's something special about you, very unique. Okay. Now we have the infinity symbol. Now wait, and they're just saying, yeah, this is this is definitely if there is a connection to that unicorn phrase, this person's coming back definitely. I just am feeling. Oh, they just gave me what is that what's it called what's that thing you called I see it and I can't remember the name of it it looks like a wing and you, you toss it into a boomerang is that it I just heard boomerang like you toss it out into the sky and then it comes back again what you put out there comes back to you, but boomerang. So I'm just hearing like maybe you're, some of you, maybe this person sees you on a picture that's like says boomerang or something boomerang. They see you on that. Oh, wow. I don't, or they see you throwing a boomerang. I just, I don't know what boomerang means. So I'm just gonna leave that there. So. This infinity, is they, somebody might drive a car that's an infinity um, or has this symbol or tattoo. Oh, I just heard somebody wears, um, there's going to be like a, a you'll, you're going to, some of you are going to meet somebody with like a superhero mask on. <laughs> okay, so maybe Halloween, otherwise run. <laughs> I'm just hearing superhero mask. It's very strange. Um, somebody's birthday might be on the 8th. Okay. Oh, we have the dove with the, the dove with the, um, four leaf clover. This is peace. Peace coming to you. Peace be with you, Virgo. Um, maybe, are you thinking of getting like a tattoo or drawing something that has a dove bringing, um, you know, this bird of peace bringing good luck to you. 
this is what I feel is coming through here. This dove. You have, um, you have four wishes coming to you, Virgo. Four things that you've been wishing for. If you've like, are you, I don't know if you're the type of person that writes down your wishes or you just know them by heart, they're in your head. But I'm feeling four specific wishes that you have wanted or you've been wishing for, praying or meditating about are manifesting. They're beginning to manifest for you. Okay, so again, we've got an American flag. Okay, for those of you, I don't know if you, well, you might be American. Maybe you're American, or this person is American. If you're not in America, you're not from America. Somebody here, there's a sense of freedom. They're just telling me there's a sense of freedom. And those charms, I didn't pull them because I don't know what the heck they are. All right, they give me one more. <clears throat> Where'd it go? Oh, oh, look what's back. Kissy lips, I'm telling you. Didn't I just say that? And then I posted that kiss song from Prince the other day. But this kissy lips... Somebody might be, wears like pink lipstick or is sending kisses. O-M-G. I just saw um, like a card or a letter or something with kiss lips printed on it. Or like a text of lots of kisses. You could be getting. Oh my gosh, a whole bunch fell out. Well... Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You are so beautiful. Okay. All right, Prince just said, give him the song Diamonds and Pearls. If I could, I would give you the world. Diamonds and Pearls. You are beautiful, especially you men. You have beautiful souls. Very beautiful souls. I feel like the messages that are coming through here the past few days, it's like, it feels like spirit's trying to break through and tell you that for all the frustration and anger or that feeling of wanting someone to get their karma and all that stuff, um, I feel like as much as there, that energy might be playing out for some of you, I also feel like you're really releasing now. Like that energy is coming up here where I feel like a lot of you are getting past that and are truly opening up yourselves for like new love, for true new true love. You're not really, I don't feel like you're really staying in this, this negative energy anymore. And that's why I kind of feel like even though I'm giving you those other readings and I'm picking up the, like the collective energy for collectively Virgo, I feel like a lot of you, oh, okay, it's those retrogrades coming out of those retrogrades. That's what's happening. There's a releasing. I think Pluto, um, what did one of the mods say? Who said it? I can't remember. Was it Glenda? Did you say Saturn? Saturn retrograde coming out of that. So there's a, you know, things are coming back into play, coming back into order. There's a lot of big changes that are beginning to happen here. A lot of you are coming out of that dark energy. You've sorted things out. You, you, the person that you are connecting with has sorted things out. A lot of you had during the retrograde a split up with someone. So that was in, when did that begin? And in the beginning of October or the end of September, you split up with someone and your person had someone come back into their life and that that's coming out, that's going away. And that's what I feel like is that energy, that Mercury retrograde energy is being released. 
So to you, this person is letting go of an ex. Some of you are letting go of an ex because you're coming out. Maybe you were communicating with an ex and things are coming to an end. And there, and a lot of you, there's new love and some of you are going to continue uh, moving forward with an ex who's coming back into your life. But this time, there won't be any miscommunication or stalled energy. Things will flow very beautifully going forward. So feels really good. I'm going to leave your reading there, you guys. Um, don't forget, every Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can get a mini reading with me here on my channel. And every Saturday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, same thing on my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot. And if you want a personal reading, the link is in the description box. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe on your way out as that helps get the video out, up and out there for more people to see. Um, make sure you tick the notification bell so you will be alerted when I upload a video. Um, I'm usually here every day if you're new, but once, like yesterday, I took, took the night off. And, um, but usually I'm here every day, same time, same bat channel. <laughs> so you, you always expect to see me at the same time, but some once in a while I'll, I may surprise you and upload something new. Um, and do keep an eye out. I will be selling very soon a new product on my Etsy site, um, that I'm in the process of developing. So I think you're going to like it. So do keep your eye out for that. All right, Virgo, I love you guys. Oh, also one final thing. I have removed myself from all social media. Um, I am no longer on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. Um, I've taken my pages down um, and I'm removing myself now from Snapchat. So I didn't even use it anyway, but um, so if you need to reach out to me, there's an email. Just click the link below this video and that is all the ways you can get a hold of me. And um, yeah, so if you're looking for me online, you're only gonna find me right here. All right, you guys, love you very much and I will see you tomorrow. Take care.